The project that we're working on is RACE, which is Reactive Automobile Coordinate Executor. So, um, we made an infrared spectrometer. What we have here is our record control digital music player. Basically what we made is a small uh, LED display. And this is our uh, maze solving car. And what it does is it can solve any arbitrary maze. Hello, uh, we have the IP Aquarium System uh, group. And this is our magic tune guitar project. So the course number is uh, CSC 181, and the title is Senior Design, CSC Senior Design. The point of the class is for the students to get into groups of maybe three, four students each and build some project over the course of a couple of quarters. And the project has to be sort of a medium scale difficulty project. And because it's CSC, it's computer science and engineering, it's got to have some hardware component and some software component. So uh, typical projects were uh, remote control car, right? Because you know you, there's clearly hardware in there. There's motors, there's chips that are driving the motors, and uh, and then in addition to that, you've got software that's running on the processor that's controlling the car, getting it to do whatever it's supposed to do. You know, so you know we had a hovercraft. So I'll say, look, if you want to do it, you just need to um, you need to get something hovering immediately. You know, just get something hovering, then I, that's proof to me that you can do this. And then the next week they came back and they had something hovering. So then I said, okay, I guess, you, I guess you're serious, you can do it, you know? And, but still, even after the hovering, there were many, many more problems with that, many more complexities with that project. They, they definitely met my expectations. They surpassed my expectations. So yeah, I was very impressed. They all, they found what they needed. They all got it to work, you know, at the end. So yeah, I was very happy. Raymond Yu, I'm a... Uh, fourth year CSE major, and this is our autonomous hovercraft. So we have like a microcontroller on a PCB soldered together, some power batteries and like motors. I'm Tri, I'm a fourth year CSE major. Basically this has actually evolved from about six other prototypes. Our previous prototypes have been using CPU fans. We got to integrate a lot of the hardware aspects that we learned in each of our electrical engineering classes as well as computer science aspects when we started doing the autonomous part of the hovercraft. And that was kind of fun. What it became was just great, you know, uh, the follower, right? It would follow the, the IR transmitter, it was just, it was perfect. That was an interesting experience. A lot of people doubted that we can make it work, but we showed them and we made it work. 